Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick DIY on how to replace your in-cabin air filter for 2018-2019 Honda Clarity. Now, I usually do this every year because it's inexpensive to replace this thing. At the dealer, it costs like 40 or 50 bucks to replace. It only takes, it's only a $15 part or even a $10 part if you buy it online. I'll leave a few links below, but usually when they have the service due, they'll ask you to do it. I usually do it every year or because I do it myself, along with my oil changes and stuff. Um engine air filter change too i made a video on that so the air filter and oil change videos i actually have it on my uh, sterling w channel look for the playlist or just do a search against clarity and oil filter change um i bought my air filter online from amazon i think it was like about 12 or 15 dollars something like that but still much cheaper than bringing it to the dealer and having it changed for like 50 bucks or whatever it is because it only takes two minutes and it's night and day from the the filter has been used for one whole year or two years and you know basically it's very very easy just pop open the glove compartment push the two side walls of that glove compartment in to unlock it and then basically you're going to take off that suspension spring on the side so with the two walls pull, pushed in it unlocks there's a little spring hook on the right hand side of it and it just basically hooks uh, underneath onto that glove compartment so go ahead and push in towards the front of the car and we see it now hooks that latch like so. And let me just do that. It should look like that afterwards. So basically pushing it forward and hooks it. You can see there's a hook there. Um, and then it gives you access to that filter compartment. So there's two tabs on both right and left side of it. These little tabs just push in and it hooks it so it unlocks it. Just work on both sides and it comes off so it's really that simple there really it takes like what two minutes to do this and it comes out on you know the, the door comes out and then you see the um the filter element inside the filter element it the airflow goes downward so if you can see there's actually a fan on the bottom of it go ahead and pull out the old filter you can see it's kind of gray and grungy when i first pulled this out it actually had a lot of um dust and insects that it sucked in from the vents and it got caught in it i'm glad it catches all this stuff because there was even a butterfly in this thing airflow goes down so your new filter definitely make sure the arrow points the same way when you put the new air filter in um and it should look like that because it basically has a little tray that it goes into then go ahead and close it up and lock in both tabs on the sides and it should fit in. Watch out because there is actually a tray on the door as well. So make sure it's aligned and before you push it in. You could shove the um, glove compartments back in by helping it on the side walls, two side walls and pushing, pulling it in close and locking it in. Hook that hook back on for the suspension thing and you're done. Comparing the two elements, it that one year of uh, driving around for 21,000 miles, it does make a big difference. So anyways, Oil change DIYs videos, it's online too. Please, you know, search against my channel. Like, subscribe again. And oh, but yeah, you can also check how to reset your um, the maintenance minor on that oil filter video as well. In the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to actually notice that there's scratches on my uh, infotainment screen. I don't know why. I know this is the first time I've ever happened on infotainment screens I own on the mini cars. I'm going to put a screen protector. This is the first time I ever bought a screen protector. And I'm going to show you how to install it and with no bubbles. Anyways, till next time, please like subscribe to this channel for Honda Clarity stuff, Chevy Volt stuff, DIY stuff, as well as how to fix things around the house, Costco finds, and other fun stuff that's pretty fun to just look at or review or good it's a good reference, or even review product reviews and stuff. It's all on my channel, the Sterling W channel. Again, thanks for watching, and of course, please like, subscribe, Put some comments below and of course um you know leave some comments or questions or if there's anything else you want to see thanks again for the eight thousand subscribers we just hit eight thousand which is awesome thanks a lot and i'll see you next time thanks a lot bye, -bye.